Aku Malaysia. Tiga tawai and salam sejahtera fellow Malaysians. My name is Larissa Ping, a 22-year-old Chinese Kenya girl who was born and raised in Kuching, Sarawak. Now, some of you may know me as Miss World Malaysia 2018, but some people may also know me as the girl who can't live without her terong asam soup, midin blachan, and also kolomi. Whenever I read or look at the word Malaysia, it will always bring me back to my competition days in Miss World 2018. It was then that I was taught the right way of pronouncing our country's name. So it's not Malaysia, it's Malaysia. And representing our country on the world stage in China at the age of 19 was a huge dream come true for me. And I've never felt so proud to be a Malaysian. When I was there competing for a whole month, every contestant was not called by our own name, but we were all called by our country's name. So for a month, my name wasn't Larissa Ping, my name was Malaysia, and that to me was a huge honor. Being in Miss World was a once in a lifetime experience, and I knew that I wanted to show the whole world how beautiful and how diverse Malaysia is. There is so much about Malaysia that people didn't know about. In our country, there isn't just the Malay, the Indian, and the Chinese, there are so many other indigenous groups in our country that makes our country so unique. We have the Orang Asli, we have the Murut, the Dusun, the Penan, the Iban, the Bidayu, the Kenya and Kayan, and the list goes on and on. Now I'm so grateful for my Kenya mother, who taught my sister and I the Kenya traditional dance and music since we were so young. She enrolled us for so many traditional dance classes, and that has opened up doors for us to perform not just locally, but also internationally. It has really opened up our eyes on the importance of keeping our culture alive. Now, as years pass, our culture, our traditions, and our stories from our ancestors are slowly fading away. And our young generation today, especially indigenous youths, should start being proactive to continue preserving our culture and traditions. There is so much beauty in them, and it is our duty, especially as youths, to preserve them for the generations to come. My elders will always tell me, be proud of your roots, embrace it, because it is only when we learn we are able to keep what was left for us by our ancestors alive and it is only when we appreciate and share our culture that the people around us are able to learn and appreciate our differences. Now, my parents are everything to me. They are my biggest inspiration. Their kind hearts have really inspired me to give back to the community as much as I can. Hearing their stories of how my parents from a humble background made it to school and you know, got them, a, got them a job, made me realize that there are many other people in Malaysia who may have a tough beginning like them too. Education is still a privilege in this modern day because there are so many rural children who do not have the opportunity to pursue in their studies. Miss World has given me the opportunity to reach out to indigenous children in the rural areas of Sarawak. And throughout my outreaches, I learned that the education gap in our country has gotten so wide, especially now during this pandemic. And we have a long road ahead of us to ensure that students in the rural areas have access to quality education, just like students in the city. Although it is a long road, I believe that there are Malaysians out there, including myself, who will continue to help bridge that gap and to ensure that no child is left behind or deprived of their right to education. Now, during this pandemic, I am not able to go to the rural areas to reach out to students like I usually do. But thanks to social media, I could still do something to help those who are affected during this time. Now, through my platform, I'm able to raise awareness during this pandemic. 
I was able to raise some funds for the needy, especially to get food on their table. Many families are struggling to make ends meet right now, and I've seen families who can't even afford milk for their babies or internet data for their children to go for their online classes. But even though times are really difficult for everyone, or to many it has been really, really dark, but I still have hope. I have seen the best in Malaysians during this time, especially whenever I need to raise some funds for those who are in need. Malaysians from all across our country have reached out to donate and also to volunteer. There are also many Malaysians that are just waiting to help and give whatever they have to ensure that no one goes hungry for another day. Throughout my experience giving out aid during this pandemic, the question on race or religion has never came up and it never mattered. I realized the power of social media and I saw how it has brought our people together during this tough time. Every share that goes on Instagram or Facebook or even Twitter to help fundraise for a community goes a really long way. And I believe that every social media user has this power to influence, to spread good news, and also to create a positive impact in our society. It is truly heartwarming to have gotten the chance to know so many kind souls from all across our country who were once strangers but they're now my friends. And just like all of you, I feel drained and I feel tired from all that's happening in our country. It feels like an unending battle, but I still have hope that we are still able to get through this as long we do not give up and keep the Malaysian spirit in us. Whenever I think about what it means to be a Malaysian, my parents come up to my mind immediately. I grew up seeing my Chinese father and my Kenya mother accepting and understanding each other's different cultures and traditions. And they have always been so accommodating and loving to our family. Not just our family, but our friends or even strangers, regardless of their race or religion. Even when they don't have much to give to anyone who needs help, they will always find ways to share what they have. Therefore, a true Malaysian to me is one who embraces your identity. A true Malaysian to me is one who celebrates each other's differences. A true Malaysian to me is not one who discriminates, but one who is compassionate and has empathy to help one another rise again after they fall. And a true Malaysian to me is one who hasn't given up on our country just yet. Kita jaga kita is now my favorite phrase because it is really evident that we only have each other now to continue moving forward as a nation. Whether we are young or whether we are old, we all have a role to play as Malaysians. So take care everyone, stay safe, and happy Malaysia Day!